Shiva from Fit Kitty Kitchen. Uh, I'm so grateful to be part of Farhang Foundation Flavor Series and I want to thank Farhang for organizing this program featuring Iranian chef and promoting our food and culture. Today I'm going to show you how to make uh, one of the most favorite Persian food called tahjin, which means layered at the bottom. Uh, the original recipe made with white rice and I did a little twist to the original recipe to make it low carb then everybody can enjoy it guilt free. Uh, there's a little bit tips and tricks for making this food uh, low carb and still having the delicious original flavor uh, which I'm gonna share with you all the tips and tricks so let's start. The, the first thing that you want to do whenever you want to make tahjin it's having a really good and delicious and flavorful of chicken. Uh, for this recipe I choose chicken uh, which is the most common uh, meat that we use for tahjin. In order to make that you need boneless chicken and in here I use uh, chicken thighs because of the juiciness and the flavor that it gives to the whole dish. Uh, so I prefer to use chicken thigh instead of chicken breast, uh, but it's up to you. Uh, the other ingredients that you need is uh, one medium chopped onion. You need uh, cauliflower rice, which needs to be frozen. The best way to have this tahjin with uh, cauliflower rice is using the frozen cauliflower and I just uh, take that out of the fridge and just put it here uh, so by the time that we finish making our chicken uh, then this is gonna defrost. The next ingredients two cups of uh, Greek yogurt, saffron, one egg that needs to be room temperature. For the spices you need paprika, garlic powder, turmeric, salt and pepper, you need uh, ground cardamom and you need two tablespoons of butter and you need olive uh, oil or uh, avocado oil. First we need to prepare our chicken. Turn on your stove, put it in in medium heat and then the first layer put all your uh, onions and the reason that needs to be at the bottom of your pan is all the oil and fat from your chicken it's gonna go down to the bottom and it caramelizes your onion and then when you're done layering these onion you need to add all your spices here paprika, a little bit of turmeric here, your garlic powder, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then you start adding the chickens. And then when you're done here, we're gonna uh, add all the spices again on top of uh, this side of the chickens. So you're gonna do a little bit of paprika and I use a smoked paprika and a little bit of turmeric, a little bit of garlic powder, add saffron. Oh my god, I wish you could smell this here. Okay. And we're gonna put all this butter just in between here and this is gonna do the trick. Okay then put the lid on it will take 30 minutes to cook halfway through we're gonna check this out and then we're gonna flip all the chicken then the other side also gonna golden and brown and add little bit of uh, lemon juice and after 30 minutes the chicken is done and we're gonna come back and continue now that we're halfway through this and look I, I didn't add any water or anything but as you can see all the juiciness from the chicken it's 
came together, everything blend together, and it has this amazing um, sauce created here, which is the butter that we had here, the saffron and everything. So it's halfway through. I'm gonna flip this chicken. So both sides can cook properly. The smell of saffron, smoked paprika. It's so good. I wish all you guys was here and can smell this. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice here and then I'm gonna leave this for another 15 minutes to cook through and then we're gonna start assembling our tachin. Okay, now we're gonna start uh, mixing our cauliflower rice and preparing our cauliflower rice layer. Uh, in order to do that, Greek yogurt, we're gonna add that to the to our mixing bowl and then we need two tablespoons of uh, olive oil or avocado oil. I'm using avocado oil here. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, quarter cups of saffron. Give it a good mix. Add one egg. The egg needs to be room temperature, otherwise your egg's gonna have like funny smell when you uh, make this recipe. The only difference between low carb version and the original tachin recipe is in the original recipe we use white rice where since we're doing the low carb I'm using the cauliflower rice for this. Oh my god, I wish you guys been here and can smell this saffron here. And the other key ingredients is powder cardamom. And don't worry, we I'm gonna list all the ingredients and step by steps. You don't need to worry about it and then you can also find the whole recipe and everything in the Farhan Foundation uh, website. We're gonna add the cauliflower. So I know that we call it cauliflower rice, but this is still cauliflower. It's not actual rice. So the way that you cook it is different. It's good to be frozen. So don't cook it and then add it to the uh, mix. That is not the way that we should do this because then the whole recipe is gonna be like cake, not the actual um, tachin recipe. So add it here and start mixing it. The cardamom and saffron, it gives it really amazing smell here. You're gonna set this aside and I'm gonna bring the chicken here and we're gonna do start assembling. The chicken is fully cooked. We need it to be like a shredded chicken in the small pieces in order to assemble it and layer it in between. So the way that we're gonna do is, the first layer is gonna be your rice and uh, yogurt mixture. Then you're gonna top that with the chicken that you have. And then the last layer is rice and uh, yogurt that we have here. For the assembly first, I'm gonna brush my pan with the butter that I have here. We as Iranian, we use saffron a lot. I use saffron in every and each recipe that I make. It tastes amazing. It, it's a game changer. So don't afraid to use it. Be generous about that. You won't regret it. Use any sort of pan that you like. You can also even make it um, on the stove. Uh, it worked perfectly and everything, but today I just want to make it a uh, portion size. Okay. So the first layer is the rice mixture with the yogurt and everything. You won't even notice that is a, this is a cauliflower. You won't smell that at all because of all the spices and because of the saffron and cardamom that we use, there is no way that you can smell or even 
notice that this is a cauliflower. The first layer, make sure you press it down to make room. We're going to add the middle layer with the chicken that we have here. This layer here, I'm going to add on the top, make all this even. Okay, that's just perfect. Now we can put it in the oven for about like 45 minutes or until the top is golden. So now 45 minutes passed. Uh, I put the tachin in the oven. The oven temperature was 400 Fahrenheit and uh, I put it for 45 minute until the top is golden. So let's take them out. Voila. And look at this. It's just beautiful. I will let it cool down a little bit and then uh, I can just flip it. I will show you the cross section and everything. Okay, now everything out of the oven. I garnish that with a little bit of barberry and or call, which we call Zeresh. And um, you can see how golden it is and how beautiful it is. It's the most popular dish uh, in Persian cuisine. So I'm gonna dig in here and show you the cross section. You can see the chicken. You can see the chicken layer, the cauliflower and everything. So let's see how it tastes like. Hmm. Just perfect. It's like the saffron, the cardamom, the juiciness of chicken and everything is just come together perfectly you should make this and try it in, at your home you trust me you're gonna love it and be generous in the saffron slide everything it's just perfect i can't stop eating mm. thank you guys and hope you enjoyed the show